Hello dear students, welcome back to another video lesson. Today we will work about worksheet number 5 and the page that we are going to study as start point is about 36. So our topic today is how to paint new background and scratch programming. We will study about how to use the rectangulars, how to use the lines, and how to paint this in scratch programming. So the next chapter is about the chapter three. In chapter three, we learn how we can make the cat move that we should understand about the dimension of the stage. We will discuss it later on. And we will talk about the logs. So let's start our lesson. For painting a backdrop or a new backdrop or a new sprite, we should open the scratch program and click on paint brush. As you can see, this picture relates to the old versions which I have copied from your book. But today we will study new things in Scratch version 3. So let's open the Scratch. It is the programs that we have worked in last session. So don't edit this because uh, we will work on this project later on. So how you can create new sprite or backdrop it's very easy click on customs when you click on customs there are about how you can create sprites so I don't need these sprite me to work on this sprite so let's click on this icon choose a custom or you can use choose a custom here it doesn't matter both are the same uh, command at the paint you can paint new sprite or background you can see there is the stage and in here you can draw everything which you want and use these commands so for first time, also some of the students ask me that teacher could we bring some of the sprites from ourselves or we created? Yes, exactly. In here, you can upload your or take a pictures of your and make it a motion. So for the first time, let's create a sprite. And here we should learn how we can use the rectangular which options in here for example when i choose the rectangular so when i draw it i have a red sorry i have a black border and with the fillet color so this is the color this is the size of the border and this is the color which fell so i can collect on the icon so you can change the color in this option if you want to use saturation it means the opacity of color it should be less or it should be more it relates to you it is about the saturation of the color and this option means brightness it means the this color should be bright or it should be dark it should be light it should be dark you can choose which color the opacity of the color light or dark when you choose so exactly when you create new rectangular there according to options that we have set it we can create the shapes or objects so when I click, for example, I don't want 
the black border so you can click in here I mean this command that say no I don't want to use borders in my ships let's create another rectangular when I create another rectangular you can see this rectangular has no border if you want to create a rectangular with uh, no failing in it you can disable this command but you should choose this one I mean activate it for example uh, move of you want to the blue and the size is one in here yes that's okay but uh, choose this option it means deactivate the failing when you draw you can see you have drawn the weight is uh, one percent the color is blue and with no foul this is the command that you can create or paint new things or new objects if you want to delete this the eraser just click it maybe you use some deletion for it maybe you create new objects like this it's a technique it's another nice one you can use for example these shapes or create these shapes or you can say oh I don't want these shapes I want to clean all so you can clean and completely the shape and another thing that we have it's file command you want to fail it when I press oh it, it's not failing why because in here it's deactivated active and fail the rectangulars this is the line uh, you could choose the line the width of the line for example when I create the line is very thin you can take it or change the size for example number five it changes the color you want to change yes the color is going to be changed so these are the options for the outline another thing that we have it's for example I use a circle same has rectangular doesn't matter it has outline it has color so this is the option that uh, when you do something you can redo I mean delete it uh, redo and do and for background you can say send it in the back or bring it from sometimes you want to create another ship with different color and you can say please set it back forward send to the front and send to back and more option in here completely back completely in front when you say completely you can see there are three ships sent to back I mean back of all the ship the ship how many layers do we have it send it completely back it uh, bring it completely in front and uh, also Control Z. You can uh, select both of them. Uh, let me select by selection tool. This is the tool which I can select. Also, when I press Shift, I can select the uh, both of them. At the same time, you can change the directions, or maybe also you press Shift and select these three shapes. You can change, or maybe you have a copy of uh, these shapes. I just click on copy and then click on paste you have another copies and paste maybe you delete it or uh, you change the directions horizontally vertically we will change that everything so you can also delete the ships I mean here this is a very good tool I mean reship reship tool and reship tool when you select this bar you can reshape it for example like this select this one like this and also if you want to create another point and when you create another point it has uh, some other tools that you can decrease or increase the sizes and also use the 
points that we have in here. Every change which you want, you can bring in your ships. It's a very good lesson. So uh, today you learn much thing about uh, how you can create or paint new ships. As I told you in previous session that I'm going to work all of this. And today you learn much uh, things from this lesson. This is the painting. Uh, let's uh, find the size in here. It's the size. For example, I want to change the size. Yes, it's big. I don't know the exact for. For example, maybe it's one one thousand. How much? Wow, it's very big. For example, 100, I think it's the last size uh, from 1 up to 1000, 100, sorry. So, these are the commands that we can create the shapes. We can also, you can use the shapes that you have. Just click it when it opens. This is the ship. This is the human body. You can also uh, use it for yourself and maybe bring something. Uh, but it is be careful. It is uh, it's converted to a vector. It mean it's not uh, like a sprite. Uh, it converts to a vector mask. And vector mask, you can use the brush. You can paint it in some weird background, or you can use the rectangular with different colors change the colors, uh, copy, paste it, change the outline. It's another version that we say convert it to vector. Then it comes to it. We say convert it to bitmap because this picture was a bitmap. I mean, uh, maybe uh, all of us started about the painting program from Windows. When we say convert it to bitmap, it becomes bitmap, I mean like this. When we go to the vector, vector is another form of the designing form. I mean that we use in our scratch programming. Okay, dear students, I hope that uh, you could uh, learn something from this video. So let's uh, continue our lesson. You have learned how to use the rectangle tool, you have learned how to use the line tool, you have learned how to paint the paint bucket. Also, you have learned lots of things. Yeah, and the text, I think the text is very easy. You just click on it, uh, thumb parts and write, for example, girl. This is the text that you can use it. Another, I mean, chapter 3 from your book, Make the Cat to Move. Uh, I think we done it, but uh, let's talk a little bit. As you can uh, see that uh, you can think of the code blocks that you combine into a script as a series of instructions. You can, in here, we have studied that uh, we can use the code blocks as a series of instructions. I mean, we have worked it in last sessions. And uh, in these uh, code blocks, uh, you can instruct, it means you can tell your sprite what to do, as well as and, uh, where to do what. So, for knowing and the exact point of this stage, you should learn about the dimensions. We have two dimensions, not three dimensions in scratch programming. In two dimensions uh, stage, so one is about the vertical axis and another is about the horizontal axis. We start from zero, it means x zero and y also zero. When we assign it from zero up to upper section, it is plus, I mean positive 180 and from 0 to vertical to down, it is minus 180. And from 0 to the right, it is 240. Because of this, when I have worked the project, 
I use for example change by 10, change by minus 10, change x by 10, change x by minus 10. I mean it should be in my stage. Also today we will work it um, uh, in project or in a, another video lesson that how we use uh, these uh, percentages carefully because if we use a number more than 180 I mean it's out of our stage and there is no show of the objects that we are working every time then you want to use the objects in your stage you should be careful from half and from down it shouldn't be more than 180 and from left and right it shouldn't be more than 240 you should be very careful so this is about the dimensions Another thing that we have in scratch programming, also you have learned that every time I told you that when we use codings, we bring a block, I mean this block. What's block mean? Sometimes called triggers. Triggers mean, I mean start. Triggers mean generator. Triggers mean activator. So these blocks activate the script. And I started running because of this when I use the block code I bring a start trigger a trigger starts all the instructions which I have bring it in here or all the blocks stop blocks these blocks are the main instruction in a script they are the main instructions in a script they have a notch at the top and a bump at the bottom what that means notch it means uh let's talk in dairy for a rough diggy. this is called a notch and bump this is called a bump or baroma diggy. so this is about the stock blocks they are very important instructions that uh, always we use for example these blues and motions these are called the stop blocks that we use very much in our programming another thing that we have in here also it's very important for us to learn that we use when most of our projects is about the boolean blocks what mean boolean found in several categories in the block palette these blocks contain conditions these block contain conditions that are evaluated and then reported as either true or false in programming conditions are used when a decision needs to be made the result of the condition whether it's true or false determines the action to be taken i mean every times when we write a program when there is a true action it should do what when there is the action on the false it should do what According to true and false conditions, we, de de we determine the action to be taken. It's very important. And uh, this block, you can see, I have written in your worksheet that you also you have worked it in last session. Also, I have in here. And uh, if I continue the this project, I think this video length becomes too lengthy and boring. So I stop the video in here. And in next video, inshallah, we will uh, work about the continuation of our project. I mean, we will work and uh, use other blocks that we complete our project. For right now, Thank you for you watching. Please work it and uh, don't forget you should write these codes and your scratch program up to here.